The brown bears in this sanctuary don't have to worry about food, but the growing population beyond the fence, out in the wild, is going hungry. The bears' natural feeding grounds are shrinking because of forest fires in places like the Gramos Mountains on the Greek-Albanian border. The problem has been highlighted in the village of Klesura, which has been adopted by a mother and her cub. She was down here. She came from over there, all the way to, from here. Almost everyone here has got a story to tell about the bear and its cub, which scavenge takeaway meals amongst the waste Greeks often dump in the countryside. Once they've exhausted the rubbish, they come into the village for dessert. This is more than just a story about a cute and cuddly bear family. Experts believe that what is happening here in Klesura is quite significant because it represents a turning point in the evolution of the Greek brown bear. Conservationists are worried that Greek bears are starting to emulate their American grizzly cousins who routinely come into towns for food. It's the most important for a wild animal, not only bear, to know that I must stay away from humans. We know the reasons. This bear is learning completely the opposite, that I must be close to humans because I have then the only chance to find food. If the bears now learn that they feel safety close to humans, the bears in 50 or 100 years, they will learn the same thing. As part of the effort to drive the bears away from civilization, the community has promised to be more fastidious about its rubbish. But the mother and her cub haven't got the hint yet, and their visits intimidate some villagers. The fear is that once the bear comes in, the little bear cub will think that this is its house, you know. So next year he's going to be there again, and I don't know what's going to happen then. So I shouldn't be saying this, but I think that somebody is going to be doing something, possibly shooting the bear. In an attempt to keep the bears safe from humans, the conservationists have urged the state to replenish the natural habitat by planting wild fruit and corn in the forests. But so far, the appeals have fallen on deaf ears. Malcolm Brabant, BBC News, in northern Greece.